Hi friends and welcome to Rev Force. Today's video is about a comparison review between single channel and dual channel ABS. But before getting on to the comparison, let me explain about ABS. Motorcycles with ABS have great advantage over non-ABS motorcycles as it prevents the wheels from locking out. Even during harsh braking conditions, it ensures that the pressure is transmitted to the wheels perfectly in order to provide fantastic braking performance. Motorcycles are being launched with single channel and dual channel ABS. So why is there a difference? The main reason behind this is the price point. Single channel ABS costs around 7000 rupees whereas dual channel ABS costs 12000 rupees to be fitted onto a motorcycle. So how it affects the braking performance on a motorcycle which has single channel ABS? Motorcycles with single channel ABS have anti-lock braking system only fitted at the front wheel. Thus, it prevents only the front wheel from locking out but the rear wheel is still prone to locking out thus resulting in skidding. Experts say that using front brake is the most ideal thing on harsh braking conditions. However, every one of us tend to hit both the brakes during such cases. So, I personally do not feel single channel ABS would do anything great to the performance of the motorcycle. Now we'll move on to motorcycles which are fitted with dual channel ABS. ABS is fitted on both the wheels of the motorcycles and thus ensuring equal amount of pressure applied to both the brakes. I've tried and tested motorcycles with dual channel ABS and hit the brakes harder on wet road conditions but the result was great braking performance with zero wheel lock scenarios. You can brake late and never have to worry about the wheels from locking out. It would inspire a great amount of confidence to the rider even when riding at high speed conditions. I always love motorcycles which get dual channel ABS on board. That's the reason I love the Apache 200 for V-Race edition and the Domina 400. If you take the Pulsar series, the NS200 and the RS200 are really good when it comes to performance. However, offering dual channel ABS would have greatly improved the overall performance of those motorcycles. The purpose of this video is to ensure that my friends on YouTube are aware of single channel and dual channel ABS and buy motorcycles which are dual channel ABS equipped because nothing is more important than getting the perfect braking system for our motorcycles. Well this concludes my video. Please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also share this video to your friends and family. I'll see you guys in my next review. Until then take care and ride safe.